Hello everyone and welcome back. So Google Cloud function on which in this video we are going to deploy our flower model. One of the serverless technology available on a Google Cloud platform. So let's just switch over to Google Cloud console and we'll create our first serverless Google Cloud function. All right. So deployment project has been selected. Just make sure it. Now let's first create a cloud function and then we will see how we are going to use our API deployment code inside that. So just click on this navigation menu, cloud function. If you don't get cloud function there, just search on here, create a function. All right. Let's give the name like API underscore predict. How much memory we want to allocate? 256 MB more than sufficient. How you want your service to get triggered? We want to get triggered with this HTTP. There are other options are also available like PubSub, Google Cloud Storage. So every option has a, its own use cases. Now in our case, we are going to hit this function based on this HTTP call. All right. Now, as soon as we create the function, we get this URL also. So let me just select this URL and let's just save it on somewhere around at Notepad. All right. Allow unauthenticated invocation. It's okay. We are going to use this inline editor where we are going to write this code and we are going to work with the Python 3.7. So just select Python 3.7 and some sample code they have already written for us. All right, so which function we want to execute it? So we are going to create a function like API underscore predict. All right, and the same function I will write it here. Editor will change later on. Don't worry about it as of now. And some more changes like environment variable related stuff. So in which region you want to deploy? Let's continue with US central one. Is there any timeout? So after 60 seconds, if your function is taking too much time or more than 60 seconds, you won't get a result. You want to allow all those traffic. So allow all those traffic and app engine default service account. We are going to use it. All right. Nothing more than that we require. So just create and it will create our first Google cloud function. Still, we haven't done any kind of inline editing mode. Now, before that, I have already coded in my local machine. So I just want to show you this code. So inside the deployment, I have created one GCP folder. There we have a serverless and there is a two file. So one, let's just walk through requirement first. So requirement contains all those library which we are going to use while executing this function. So one is a request. Let's first open the requirement.txt file. And here I have listed all those libraries which we require while executing those Google Cloud function. So request, numpy library, scikit-learn library, and one more library we require like a Google Cloud storage because now in this case, we are going to access our model from this cloud storage technology, not from our local file system. Now let's see our main code. So there is some modification I have done in this main code. This is as usual imports. One more import we have to do like from google.cloud import storage. Now pickle.load anyhow you need to do, but you don't have those flower hyphen v1.pkl file available with you. So first you need to connect with Google cloud storage. You need to get those bucket from those bucket. You need to download this flower pkl file, nothing but our model and you need to download it on local machine of Google. So where I have downloaded and kept it inside this temp folder. Now everything happens on a cloud only. Nothing happens on your local machine. Now once it is available at this location, you can just simply read as usual like pickle.load. Apart from that, if the model is available with you, everything just remains same. And you do not need to worry about to start this application because when you hit the HTTP POST request, Google will automatically call this particular function. 
All right. Now bucket name we have to write it. So we have already created a bucket. So let's just go there. All right. So our function is also got created. Let's go to the. Let me open it to duplicate new tab. So that will remain as it is for us. And let's open the Google Cloud Storage. And let's see which bucket name we kept. So you can see one bucket got created under deployment project and one cloud function. So let's just open bucket name. So bucket name is model. Let me just copy it and let's just keep it here. All right. Apart from that, our model name is flower hyphen v1 dot pkl. All right. So we need this two file to get upload on a Google Cloud function. Let me just close it and let's just go to Google Cloud function. Select this API hyphen underscore predict and just edit it. All right. So we are going to use inline editor. You can use the zip also. So for that again, we need to open it. So main, let me just select hold and let's just skip it here. All right. And along with that requirement.txt file also you need to fill up. So requirement.txt. All right. And let's just deploy it. So deployment will take little time because it will download all those dependency and start your application. So once the deployment will finish, you will be able to see the green icon here. All right. So our function successfully got deployed. Now time to test the function. So let's just go to this trigger part and you will be able to see exactly the same URL. Let me click on it and open into new tab. And you can see we got the response like please send the post request. Now why I did it earlier, you will be able to understand now that if you are sending the get request, immediately we got this response and we can verify that our application is running fine. Now how we can test it? Let's go to Postman and let me select the URL, close all those pop up and inside the body, the same data we are going to send, just send it and we got exactly the same response. So from Google Cloud function also, we have successfully deployed our model and started running as a function. So here we do not need to worry about any kind of server management. We haven't start any kind of application. We haven't start any kind of server. We just provided Google that you execute this function whenever some request comes like this. All right. So that's all about this video.